August 1792. With the king deposed and imprisoned, Robespierre and his Jacobins are locked in a battle with the moderates of the assembly, the Girondins, for control of the national government. But on the streets of Paris there is a new radicalism. It is led by the artisans and working men of Paris, recognizable by their long trousers, in contrast to the knee breeches or culottes worn by the aristocracy. They call themselves the sans-culottes, those without knee breeches. The sans-culottes considered themselves the true people of France. They were not the poorest of the poor. Uh, they tended to be fairly well-off artisans, shopkeepers, people like that. Uh, but they were people who at least claimed to work with their hands. Not wearing the breeches, not wearing the culotte for the sans-culottes was simply symbolism of, of being not an aristocrat, being an ordinary man of the people. The sans-culottes seize control of Paris's city government, while the Jacobins and Girondins steer the country from the assembly, now reformed as the National Convention. They are struggling with the command of the beleaguered French army, which is swiftly losing ground to Austria and Prussia.